What up, Naughty Steppers? It's Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And it's time for a little Throwback Thursday video. Kind of like an opinion piece, but more a reflection on something than overtly opinionated, uh, an instigator for discussion and conversation all the same. And in this Throwback video, I'm going to be looking back over my favourite originals and remixes from 2015. It's getting to that time of year again where I start drafting up my yearly favourites lists, uh, videos of which will be coming out in December. Which made me want to go back to my lists for previous years and just thought I'd share them with you guys to get your opinions and views on them. You get people saying, oh, 2012 was the best year for so-and-so genre, and I suppose in doing these I just want to see which of the most recent years for me at least, was the best for dark electronic music overall. And yes, there will be a 2016 and 2017 version of this video. Unfortunately, wasn't making these lists back in 2014, uh, wasn't as organised with my music at that point. What I'm going to do is put the lists on the screen for you all to see, and just think about how they might be different now. And then you guys can give me your thoughts on what you agree with, what you disagree with, what you think I missed out, just a good old bit of music discussion fun. So let's get stuck into it then, starting off with the originals. These are my 15 favourite singles of 2015 in order. Has my opinion changed since then? Tujamo and Jacob Plant's track All Night came at a time when Electro House was dying out a bit, love the dark party vibe of it, would probably get ousted by another track now, but still a great tune. The Crumb track has aged extremely well, if you haven't heard it. Potentially the one that I would recommend most on this list that's relatively unknown. It's a vicious mid-tempo dubstep blend that definitely has some of the craziest sound design of that year. Would definitely put it a few places higher now. Another level by Dr. Fresh I loved for its genre and tempo variety throughout. A great idea for a track, would probably keep it in that place. Getter's Head Splitter has turned out to be an iconic track for him, definitely would be placing that one higher too, uh, it stood the test of time very well. Nail Gun I would also feel compelled to place higher, it's a really solid coming together of artists, uh, running out of space at the top now. <laughs> Think Deep Down Low is a track that's more popular than good per se, the most played out track by DJs that year. Incredible vibe, but not as complex in its construction. So yeah, I think that one would have to be lower, which, you know, frees up some space. Live Wire by Excision was my undoubted favourite from his Codename X album. Amazing swagger to it, and I love the tempo changes it goes through from start to finish. Quite simplistic in that sense, and not too dissimilar to Burner by Keizo, actually, which is just one place above it. I uh, think it's the general feel of these tracks more than anything that made me love them, but they'll keep their places. Thank Mr. Skeletal by The Frim is a fantastic track, uh, by no means his best, but a really good blend of musical styles, and his best of that year for sure. Big Ridden Monster again I think is perfectly placed, not quite a top 10, but such a memorable, genre-defining track. Were people even talking about Rhythm then? I don't think so, it's pretty ahead of its time. And talking of time, No Time was my favourite from Barely Alive's debut album, just because it was such a noticeable change from everything that came before it, and a great way to end the project overall. Maybe placing this one lower though, now that I think about it, in and of itself it's not quite a top 10 track. 2015 was also the year Joyride broke out, and Hoodlum for me was the best of his first few tracks, the menacing swing of those drops, so infectious, happy to leave that one around there. In 8th place we have the playful three-way collaboration between Jameson Thieves, Swaggle Rock and Yuki, love the sounds on show here and the adventurism of it overall. Safe to say I hadn't heard anything like it before, another lesser known one that I would definitely recommend, it's pretty out there and quirky, Deserving of its place. And whilst I love Can of Worms by Dubloads and Axelboy, the mix of cartoonish vocal samples and in-your-face squelchy dubstep, I'd place it lower now than I did initially. Just because there aren't enough switch-ups or developments across the track, the sounds are amazing but could have done with a little more variation looking back on it. Street by Nightmare, another iconic track, 
probably perfectly placed again, preferred others more, but this one really was a pace setter and defining song for the trap genre. Psycho by Aerochord is a sensational tune, like a movie in and of itself, sets a scene, incredible ideas, brilliant sound design, hard to find fault with it. Would probably say the same for Proto Hype and Phase 1's Recon to be honest, so much going for it, uses similar sounds throughout but never gets stale, develops in the best way. Alongside Revival by Adair and Omega Mode, up there with the best dubstep tracks of the last few years in my opinion. The second main drops in both these tracks, oh my. Made a video recently on how I thought Duke Camp by The Frim was the best song of the modern dubstep era, but these two aren't that far behind in my eyes. To the extent that I would probably put them ahead of Get On This by Ghastly, a really well assembled track, but looking back on it, there are parts of the sound that just don't hold up quality wise. Still an incredible song, but I would probably bring it down a few places, just above Nightmare. The sound quality of the other three is more invigorating. And not gonna lie, we'll be keeping Drezzo's Heaven at number one, ridiculously vivid, moodiest grooves, riveting drops, properly eerie, the song that got me into dark house music for sure. But what do you guys make of this first list? Pretty diverse, I really recommend checking out the ones you haven't heard before, interested to see what you think. Others that I may have included on reflection are Satisfy by Nero, Sound Clash by Flostradamus and Troy Boy, Rock the Party by Jaws and F Word, Senses Overload by Temanite and Sonar, Chief by Party Thieves and AT Aliens, Frontier by Dr. Ozzy and Spag Heady. There are actually so many, I could literally mention about 10 or 15 more. This was a really good year for dark electronic music. Anyway, I'll be linking them all in the description down below. So construct some thoughts on that, maybe pause the video to get some opinions down in the comments, because we're about to go into the remixes. Remixes don't tend to be as memorable as originals, but some of these are sure to be very recognisable to you. So here we go. So what have we got here? Another pretty varied mix of songs to be honest, especially from the bottom working up. The groovy gurgled house of Charlie Darker, the poppy bass house of etc etc and F word, the bubbly fast paced made monster remix, Bomber and Crowell's VIP of the number one classic rhythm tune. Ha 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 it. Would possibly move the Charlie Darker one up a few places, but generally they're pretty well positioned. Great remixes, but not top 10 material. The superheroes collaboration between Virtual Riot and Panda Eyes is an amazing construction and idea, but doesn't sound that great quality wise. Definitely deserves its place for the concept though. The VIP of Fire in the Hole, a Pegboard Nerds classic, I found took it to another level. I was scared it would ruin the original completely, but it's an enjoyable mutation. Love the added vocal. You and me are running out of time. The Barely Alive remix was very good, but I feel for them could have been slightly better. So that seems about right for that one. But the next two I would almost definitely move up. Nomdistrip's remix of The End by Eptic has achieved legendary status and been refashioned many times, whilst that Eliminate remix is up there with my favourite trap songs of the last few years. Would certainly put them above the Terra Vita remix anyway, a brilliantly fun and well put together edit, but the other two have stood the test of time more for me. Going into the top 10 and the first thing I would do is move that Temanite remix right up, a really organic blend of musicality and dubstep that is really hard to find at that level of quality. Keep the Jaws one where it is and probably move the Skrillex one down a bit. I loved it when it came out, but over time I've kind of realised how simple it is. I only really liked it because it was him. And I talked of Drezzo's Heaven getting me into Dark House, but Seedens remix of Death House played a huge part as well. Certainly better for me now than the hard hitting but pretty straightforward holler out VIP. So swapping six and seven, but I think the top five are definitely the top five I would still have. 
although looking at it I feel inclined to change them around a bit, considering how I feel about them now. The Erotic Cafe remix I think I would have to move into second place, so much to it, properly cinematic, heavy vibes, more complex than the Aero Chord remix, that's for sure. Was loving Drezzo at that point as well of course, but I think I've preferred the far too loud remix more over time, so they're gonna swap places. But the number one I feel once more like I can't budge. I love that Ray Volpe remix, the interaction between sounds throughout is next level, the drops are completely different and both insane. It's him in his vocal trap element. Again, some others that I may have included on reflection are Spagheady's remix of Time, Nano's remix of I Like That, Ehide's remix of Won't Change, and some others from Zomboy's Resurrection LP. Again, so many bangers. Actually cannot believe I omitted the Ehide remix to be honest. It's one of my go-to dubstep remixes of all time. It's in the outro to all of my videos. Uh, don't know what I was thinking really. But again, what did you make of this list? Which songs would you include or take out? Really interested to hear what you think of these lists, so let me know in the comments. Or if you want to, make your own list and put it in the comments, a top 10 or 15 or 20 as I've done. Whatever floats your dark electronic music boat. Quick recap on those lists though, a decent amount of change from then to now. A couple that I would remove completely to add in those I mentioned at the end of each list. And nothing against those tracks that I've moved down or even removed completely. I mean, I listen to tens of thousands of songs a year, so to get into a top 20, they must at least be extremely good. But finally, I'm just going to give you those lesser known tracks from each list again that I feel you should check out most. So the originals are Dealers by Crumb and Get Down by Jameson Thieves, Swaggle Rock and Yuki, and the remixes are the Seeden remix of Death House and the Erotic Cafe remix of Abducted Cowboy. And on that note, that brings the first Throwback Thursday video to a close. Thank you very much, and as always, for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell along the way. Next to my head, there'll be a link to some other relevant videos on the channel, so be sure to check those out if you'd like some other musical naughtiness to delve into. Like and follow across social media if you haven't already, all of which is linked, including every song mentioned in this video, in the description box down below. And lastly, if it's naughty, then you know guys, so be sure as always to keep it naughty and stay safe. And I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace out.